I'm going to take a look at a print on demand expansion from Fantasy Flight Games for the Arkham Horror Universe board game Mansions of Madness. And this is the Yellow Sign expansion. Most of these expansions come in kind of a little, well, a larger clamshell, but uh, smaller than like a regular box for a board game. They usually just come with the additional pieces needed to run a scenario. Almost like getting a uh, module for an RPG. So you usually get the three big cards. And you have the, the front that shows you the artwork for the expansion. Then you have a sheet here that, that would normally be in a board game rule book. It just shows you the setup for uh, running the yellow sign story. And then you have the thing that shows you how the cards work, where you need to put the cards on the map. Gives you a little uh, story to read to the players. Has the map set up piece. And then it just has some more of the story that you can read from the outside of the box to get an idea of what's in the expansion. And you get the objective cards here. You have a 1A objective, a 1B, and a 1C. You have some different uh, scenario cards here. And an open auditions card. A called by the King card and the Court of Carcosa card. You then have the countdown cards to uh, as the clock runs down in the adventure to. Uh, determine how the adventure goes and how different things integrate into the adventure as it unfolds. You know, they, as each one comes along, they change a little something in the adventure to modify it. And then you have the little cards here. It looks like we have a little selection of uh, traps or puzzle cards here, about five of those, you get a short circuit, it's better on this one, short circuit card, a dress rehearsal card, uh, arcane candles card, an act one scene seven card, and an anchored key card, and they have a little tentacle background to them. So we have a few locked cards here. Looks like you get four of those. You get a broken padlock, a rehearsal room, king's chambers, and a padlocked door. You have all these uh, clue cards here. You get some more fine looking cards. Some Yellow sign cards, a key to Carcosa, a costume, an amulet, a deck of fate, tonic of inspiration, the Necronomicon, the understudy, dream dagger, Mrs. Wild, it's a cat, capsules of tranquility, brass knuckles, whiskey, prophetic mirror, matches, Smith and Wesson, the script, yellow mask, lock tone. So those are all things that can be discovered in the adventure. And then you have the, the story cards here. Looks like you have 1A, B, and C, a 2A and B, a 3A and B, and a 4A and B. You know, the letter would be determined which one got placed by how you chose the adventure to play out in the setup. And then you get it four cards that just have the kind of yellow sign 
the background on them. And you get the Gleeman, the King's Champion, the Pale Priest, and the High Counselor. So those are the everything you get to in the Yellow Sign expansion to uh, help you run the Mansions of Madness Yellow Sign Adventure. Of course, you'll need the Mansions of Madness base set to uh, work with that. But that is everything that comes in it.